Cal, with Cliff Acurang after the game against White and Zone tonight. Cliff, how did that game go for you? Uh, I thought the boys were professional from the start to finish. Got the job done, three points, happy manager. A lot of changes, a bit disjointed to, the, to start off with, was that expected? No, but you know, the, the, the squad knows how we play and anyone that comes in knows exactly what I expect of them. So it, they were told what to do, they just didn't apply themselves in the first 25 minutes. And then once they did, I think as soon as one person um, got the better of their man and all of a sudden confidence lifted, yeah, everybody started moving the ball a little bit quicker. And then we looked more like ourselves and I think the goals weren't with the run and play and possibly should have been a, bit, a few more if there was um, more unselfish. Um, a few faces that we haven't seen a lot of. Um, tell us about Ayrton Coley in particular, because he, was, he really showed up well. Yeah, he's um, a, a player that we, we did um, get from Cockershaw Town. Um, very, very quick, very, very physical, very athletic. He's, he's almost unplayable sometimes, and it's, you know, things haven't quite worked for him in the Cockershaw Town team. Um, so when there was an opportunity to get in for a couple of games, we jumped at the chance because we know what he can do. And I think today he found out about himself, uh, what, he, what he can do when he's unleashed. And, you know, like all the other players, he was superb on the day and um, hopefully more, it will, hopefully will continue that form. Tell us a bit about Daniel Cunningham as well, because he seemed to show up pretty well today as well. Uh, Daniel was like, um, just a one of a kind really. He's like a, leader on and off the field who doesn't need an armband. He, he just manages games unlike anyone I've seen at any level, even professional level. He's just got a, a, a really, really iron will and a very strong mentality. You cannot break the guy. And, you know, he can affect 16 people just from being on a football pitch. It's, it's incredible and, you know, can't you know praise him enough, but he's a fantastic player. Speaking of praise, were you quite pleased with how Ed French started for you today? Yeah, yeah. Um, very <laughs> very early on in particular. He hasn't he hasn't played um, for a couple of weeks. Um, and we 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 got him from Burnham, and I was impressed with him when we played him at their place. We just about beat them one 0 in the last minute, and he was a brick wall for them. And you know when we asked him to come over and back us up. He came over, he's waited for his chance and got it today and got, got himself a clean sheet and uh, made a couple of good saves at the same time, so... Okay, I'm going to go a bit more general with you now, just for a minute or so. Um, due to the nature of the league, we are... There are a lot of teams that have players from... I would call them players from higher leagues. What are your general feelings on that? Are you okay with that? Or do you find that a bit... I think sometimes... Times? I think that today White End Zone blow it out of proportion. Um, it's something that there was a, a loan system in place for this reason. Yeah. So when, for example, hashtag go and get Albi Key from Tilbury, nobody questions it. Yeah. But that Tilbury team is two leagues above everybody. So, you know, they end up get, gaining players from as, as strong leagues as they, they can. Yeah. Uh, and what people don't recognise is Cockershaw Town and Cockershaw uh, United came from, you know, st step seven. Yeah. So half the team players that we're using are players that have been at the club for, yeah, you know, a very long time. And um, you know, if they feel it's an advantage, then I don't know what they're doing in football because you you go into football and every player you come up against has had a background, has been somewhere. Yeah. So you've got to just deal with them at the end of the day it's 11 versus 11 and we're not the, we're not the type of team that complain complain when it happens against us yeah i'm sure you know um i use white enzyme as an example i'm sure they'd have something to say if i stepped on the field because then they'll be going oh well you know you played a player who's been an ex-professional so mm -hmm. it's all excuses <laughs> would you go so far as to agree with the the idea i'm going to say it forward that any team that had that possibility of calling on players from a higher division would probably take it. Oh yeah, yeah. It, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a loan system that's there for a reason. Uh, and if you are short and looking for 
a little bit more strength in, in certain areas, you can go and call upon whatever team, whatever player from whatever league. So there's no laws broken. Um, it's a bit sour grapes. I think when it happens, it happens to us, we don't mind. And when it happens to like, other people, they moan about it. So yeah. on a lighter note, let's go back to the game. Three 0 Do you think it flattered you at all in the end? Uh, no, nah, I thought that um, I was a bit disappointed that um, some of the breakaways that we had, we wasn't less selfish. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say ruthless, I would say less selfish because there was opportunities to move the ball onto someone in a better position and we just sort of delayed it a little bit too long. Um, but, you know, we just got to improve on these things and, and hopefully get it right the next time. So we move on to Brentford now. What do you finish just leading into that game? So, um, you know, that's, that's a prime example of a team that, you know, they just went out there and they uh, did their job, stuck to their task and didn't make excuses. They went out and, and they were 2-0 up on us and we had to fight back against them because they were, you know, ready, they were organised and they did what they had to do. So, um, today I think White Enzyme were beaten before yep. uh, the game had started. Turned up looking at team sheets from last week and, and <laughs> instead of focusing on the game whereas we played against the Frankfurt team that fully focused on themselves and what they came to do and and we had a tough game against them so you know we expect nothing less than 110% from Frankfurt again and we've got to be 115, 120 to, to make sure we beat them so it's not a, not a given but we're going to do our best. Back, you know, as always, thank you very much. Thank you.